Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I'd like to share with you a way to make professional looking end credits in iMovie. So here's a way I came up with to add some really cool end credits to an iMovie project. I'm using the single line timeline here by clicking this button and I can see I've got some video. Now I want to add the end credits over here. So I'm going to go to the titles and use the scrolling credits to start with. I'm going to drag those in here at the end. And I'm going to get the basic scrolling credits. I'm going to select black as the background. And there I go. Now I'm going to do some adjustments. I'm going to get rid of the starring line like that. And then I'm going to select all the text, um, paste it in, and paste it many times just to get some nice long scrolling credits like that and done. Now I've got some really fast scrolling credits because they're four seconds long. So the first thing I want to do is select the video here, press I to bring up the inspector and change the duration to 60 seconds. So it's nice and long there. And now the credit should move along at a decent pace like that. Now my goal is going to be to add photos to the left side over here on this side uh, just like you might see in the movies. As the credits scroll up on the right you've got pictures that kind of display on the left. So to do that I really want to move over the text here. Um, but I can't move over the text because it's kind of set in place. Or can I? If I select it, copy it, and then I switch to text edit and I make sure I'm using rich text format. So it's rich text because it says make plain text there. And I've got all the controls at the top. If I paste it in you can see there I've got the credits and notice I've got complete control of the tabs at the top. I'm going to select all and I'm going to move over these tabs like that, like that. And I still have it all selected. I'm going to copy, go back into iMovie, I'm going to make sure I've selected everything here, delete, and paste in. And notice that I did actually have control of the tabs. I just needed to use another tool to actually alter them. So now as I watch the scrolling credits uh, here I can see they scroll further over to the right and I have space over on the left. So now I want to add some photos. So I click on the photo browser over here on the right and then I select a photo to bring in. So I'll select this one. I'll drag it and drop it in here just at the point where the credits start rolling up and it'll ask me to select picture in picture. Now make sure before you do this of course that in iMovie Preferences you have Show Advanced Tools turned on. So now I've got the picture displayed and displaying the upper right. What I want to do is move that over to the left in the center. Fortunately I can drag that over here and you notice how there's these little lines allow me to lock to the center and the left. I want to do that so I can position all the photos in the right spot. I also want to with it selected press C and select let's do fit and done. And that will fit it to that size there so I can see the entire image. Um, and now I also want to press I to bring up the inspector and change the picture in picture effect to dissolve. So now when I move the timeline here and I play it I can see the picture fades in over there on the left and then fades out. All I need to do now is add more stills. So I can for instance choose this one, bring it in, position it just to the right here, picture in picture. And then I'm going to drag it over, lock it into the same position, C for cropping, I for the inspector, and change to dissolve. And now I get this nice effect where the one picture fades out, the next picture fades in, and I can continue to add several different pictures all the way through the credits. So I've added a few more here. You probably want to have enough to fill the entire credits. And then you want to add some music. So you can go to the uh, music and sound effect browser here and select something from iTunes. I'm going to select a jingle that comes with iMovie and just drag that in. Uh, you don't want to drag it up here to fill the entire thing. You want to of course drag it onto the background there so it will just cover below. So now when you play it.
Now, of course, you can adjust as you want. You can make the photos a little bit bigger. You can change the font on the credits. Uh, you can speed it up, slow it down. Uh, another thing you could do is maybe instead of setting it to crop or fit, you can actually use the Ken Burns effect so that the pictures kind of move a little bit. Or you can actually use video instead of stills there. So, for instance, you can do outtakes. A lot of movies do this. You throw a bunch of outtakes there. Maybe lower the music or use the ducking feature to actually lower the music when the outtakes start. And you can have these fun outtakes or extra bits at the end of your film in the credits. Probably the most important thing I want people to take away from this video is the fact that I put this all together just by experimenting and learning about the different things in iMovie. So there are a lot of other things you can do besides this particular effect if you just learn all the different titles, learn all the different transitions, all the different effects like picture in picture and try to combine them in different ways and experiment. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.